Hello, my name is Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mimi Plans and Knits. Today I'm going to share with you something I've waited a very long time to get. I've used uh, Christmas money, bonus money, birthday money. Um, it's something that I've wanted for probably four years and I finally saved up enough and I spent and I ordered it and I'm very, very happy. So I'll turn the camera around and I'll unwrap that for you. I'll unbox it and then later on I will show you what it's like with all my things in it. Um, and then I will show you a few knitted things that I've been working on, frogged, um, planned to knit. So I will be back in just one second. Okay, here we go. Big surprise. This is Thread Maple. Been waiting a long time to get something from here. And I waited long enough that I ordered all the pages that I wanted. So I'm just going to cover this up here and take it out. It's a thank you card. It's so here, let me, sorry for the noise. If you have earphones on, this is what I ordered. And I got some pages. Now, let me move this out of the way here. I haven't seen this either. And I ordered a few things. And I must say, the service was excellent. I made an order. I changed my order. I messaged them. They were very quick to respond. Lovely people to work with. Um, I added a couple extra things that I wanted. So let me just show you this. I got the large size because I there were pages that I knew I wanted and um, the leather is gorgeous. So I got the extra size binder and then it comes in a dust bag and then I did order the needle marker size that you put in so you can um, this one is for when you put your two uh, darning needles in here and you can save it in there I ordered the extra little scissors to fit in here just so I would always have scissors now the pages that I got I will list them below to make sure I have the correct name of each page because I'm not exactly sure. Oh, the leather is so soft. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. This page is for, you have plenty of room for needles. This one I'm thinking are for DPNs. And I, I think I ordered two of these. You can fold them up on the go. You can put your pages in your binder. So I'm pretty sure I ordered two because I wanted, I just want to pick everything up and have it all in one place. I'm trying to clean up my, my scrap room. So this is the second one. Same again, the leather is so soft. I think this color is cognac. I will have to check and make sure. And I ordered the catch-all pouch, if I can see where it opens here. This one is for your catch-all, so you can have like a little bit, you have a pouch here, so that you can keep like your tape measure and stitch markers and things like that in. So I got that page too. And the last page that I got, and I'm thinking maybe I will need another page is for your circular needles. So you've got plenty of room to put them in here. These have snaps so they won't fall out. These are really nice. You can carry them on the go. So I ordered these pages and maybe when it's time for the next, my next Christmas money, maybe I will get one more page for these. I also have pockets here. There's pockets here. There's pockets under here. 
there's really plenty of room and once you put them in and you get your pages all set up there should be plenty of room I mean it's it's gonna be very thick so everything will be in one place right now I just kind of have everything in a old purse divider that I've been using so I'm very excited to get this I'm very thankful I was able to get this so I will show this to you once I have it all stuffed and filled out I will be back and I'll show you what it looks like there we go oh trying on things here um, this is the sweater that I made just with scrap yarn that I had from a friend I you could classify it I suppose either as a short sleeve or as a vest the collar is just like this and then I made like a split hem here just a little bit on the side I wanted something that I could just throw on I actually knit this just over a weekend and I didn't have any particular pattern I just did it up so another completed object or two is oh sorry TV just turned off I have completed these vanilla socks for my son. I'll be putting them in the mail. And these ones are completed also. I'll be putting, these are just vanilla sock patterns that I whip up and I'll be putting those in the mail for him. He lives in Ontario, so um, sometimes I send him up a few things. Now, uh, works in progress. I have my, um, I showed these on another video. These are the How Cold Is It Outside Mittens. These are for my daughter-in-law, Melanie. And I started them, I put them away, and I just picked them up again. So I have to get busy on those. I have another pair of vanilla socks coming. This one is completed. Oh, our camera is wiggling. My grandson here is the cameraman today um, I have the second sock is almost done these I'm knitting up in um, scrumptious pearl yarn these are really cute and I started I started a sweater let me see what is it called it was the Laura cardigan and I started it in um, this it's salt water the color is salt water and it's croy sock yarn because I really like the color however I didn't like the sweater that much so I frogged it and I started a shawl now on the camera this is showing a lot brighter in real life it's more of a I don't know it's not quite as bright it kind of looks like a robin egg blue on camera but it's not and this pattern is called the where is it? This is the Foliosa by Janesta Larkowiska. Sorry, pronouncing it probably wrong. But that, I'm just doing up that pattern. I also have in my, in my bag, this bag was a collab between the Grocery Girls and Jojoco, I think it is. Um, it's just, uh, let's see here, it's just a raglan, a simple raglan sweater that I'm doing. The pattern is by, um, it's the Juntu Light Raglan by Tina. Oh, I'm not even going to try. I will list it down below. And the color that I'm using is, it's Cricut Yarn. And I am using it in color light gray, which is number 058. Um, it feels a little wooly, but it actually, it's knitting up really nice. And uh, it's just going to be a, just a plain something you can throw on with a pair of jeans. Nothing too, too thick. So I have that on the needles right now. And I'm thinking um, I want to do, a, let me just grab this yarn here. I want to do the Cottage Swancho um, 
The Cottage Swancho is by, who is it by? I will put it down below. I think it's, I think it is, I'm not sure. I will look it up. I thought I wrote it down here, but I didn't. These are the colors that I'm going to, I haven't decided what order I'm gonna put them in yet. These yarns are by Sunday Morning and they're DK weight. Um, they're 20, they're 75 BFL and 25% Masham. This color is Hydrate. And this color is Breathe Easy. And this color is Personal Space. And this color is, let me see here, window shopping. This is going to be my main color as far as I can think. And this will be my pop. And this one is called Perfectly Burnt. It, the, the colors seem a little brighter on the camera. It's a little bit more rusty in real life. So I'm going to make the cottage swatch though. I just have to decide which way I want the colors to go. I have that. And today I ordered yarn. Um, I had to order it from Norway um, because I want to make the, it's, it's a sweater pattern. Oh, I can't look it up. It's on my phone, but I'll list it below. It's the, I think it's called the Junto, Junto color work sweater. Uh, I think you knit it from the bottom up and then you have to um, cut it when you're finished. You have to steak it if you want it to be a cardigan. So I had saw a picture of somebody's work that they had finished and it was a beautiful pink with like a grige and it was really, really nice. So I went on the hunt for yarn that I could find that was pretty close to that. So I found some. Um, and I ordered it so when that comes I will show it on there so I think tomorrow I'm probably going to cast on my swancho my socks will be finished tonight and um, I think that's about all that we've got now I am going to fill up my cables in my new thread and maple case I'm so happy it took me about four years of saving to get it um, very, very excited. So I'm going to try that out. I'm going to put my needles in. My cameraman's a little shaky. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I will um, go fill that up and then I will just do a, a flip through, um, probably camera down so you can see what the pages look like before I put it up. So um, thank you so much for watching and I will go fill that up and I will put it on. Okay, now I hope there's not too much shadow here. I have a light on up here. I am laying on my couch. I woke up this morning with the worst case of vertigo I've had in a long time. Um, our, we had a nice day for skating down on the lake and I wasn't able to go down. Um, basically, I couldn't lift my head off the couch all day. So I wanted to show you this so that I could get my video up. I'm holding my phone in my hand, so hopefully it's not too shaky and I'm able to get this up. Now this is my Thread and Maple, and as I promised yesterday, last night, I was able to put most of my things in here. Um, there's still more that I wanna put in here, but this is as far as I could get, and I really think I may order one more page. So let's open this up. It is gorgeous. I can't even explain to you how soft the leather is. Um, I just put my little scissors here. I think this is supposed to be like a bookmark or something. It has like a felt here. So um, that's probably what I'll use that for. Just leave it there as a little decoration. These are my thicker needles that I didn't really put anywhere. They This little snap. Um, they just snapped in there and they, they fit pretty good. So I have that there. Now this this pouch, um, I haven't put in my um, tape measure or anything like that yet, but it will fit wonderfully. There's, there's room if I can 
open the side here there's extra there's room so um, I have that there I did put a couple of my bigger knit needles um, thicker ones here just on this little these are snaps that you can open you can open take them off um, probably they are to when you take out the page and fold it in half they'll hold them together now I just have these um, put in like this they're not in any particular order I just wanted to get them in there and um, try it out but I, I may need one more page like this I haven't even put them so I can close the snaps yet and then this I'm thinking I will put a few of my crochet hooks and a few more of my DPNs in here so I'm glad I had ordered two of these um, my DPNs are here and here this little flap is great you can put them um, I don't have I, my smaller ones are on I have a pair of mittens on them so um, I do have these uh, my straight needles are just all like in a, a holder upstairs so they don't really need to be put in here so I think this one I'm gonna try to get my crochet hooks the leather is very pliable it's quite a thick leather but I think once it's it's gonna um, stretch out and fit it's gonna fit like you can see here it holds quite a few and um, some of the really bigger thicker needles in the back I, I have like two here and three of the set are here but uh, yeah I think I think it's gonna stretch out and hold them really really nice so um, this is how it looks there is a zipper on the back I have nothing in there yet and um, here I'm one-handed so if I can hold this up this is what the thickness looks like I'm sure I still have room for one more page with my rounded circular needles and that would pretty much fill up my book however everything that I have for needles and things like that would would actually be all in one place if I could just explain how soft and pliable this is it feels so gorgeous um, if it's something that you have been interested in ordering I would not worry or hesitate for a minute it is absolutely gorgeous and like I said before the service um, the customer service is wonderful fabulous customer service totally recommend their shop um, love it so I am going to go put this and I'm going to try to get my video edited and put up as I lay on the couch with my computer so um, let's go on and hopefully I'm able to get this up for Monday thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye